In the next two lessons, we will be solving lots of different story problems. So we'll be problem solving in which we will be creating equations from the story problems and then solving them. So for today, we're only going to worry about part one, which involves story problems that involve perimeter and the idea of consecutive integers. So super fast review, you do not have to write this down. Before we do a story problem involving perimeter, we have to know what perimeter means. Perimeter just means you add up all sides. And if you have a rectangle, opposite sides are the same. So in this case, its perimeter is simply 5 plus 5 plus 8 plus 8, or it's 2 times 5 plus 2 times 8, which is 10 plus 16. So in this case, the perimeter equals 26. So just a quick review before we do a story problem involving perimeter. So it says the length of a rectangle is 6 inches greater than the width. The perimeter of the rectangle is 60 inches. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. So just the fact that it says rectangle, I'm going to at least draw a rectangle. And I know that my rectangle has a length and a width. And that's what we will be solving for. But it says that the length is 6 inches greater than the width. So in other words, the length L is means equals 6 inches greater than the width. So you take the width and you add 6. The length is 6 greater than the width. And then W, for right now I'm just going to have it as just W. We know that the perimeter is 60. So to solve for W and for L, I know that this side, the length is also W, and then opposite of the length, it is also W plus 6. So if you add up all the sides, it will equal 60. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4 W plus 6 plus 6 is 12. So 4 W plus 12 equals 60. I can now solve for W. I'm going to first subtract 12 on both sides. to get that 4w equals 48 and then divide both sides by 4 so w in this case equals 12 inches but it does say find the dimensions which means we have to find the length as well go back to this up here the length is 6 more than the width. So the length is 6 more than the width, which is 12, so the length is 18. And that's 18 inches. And you can always check your answer by, let's see, our W is 12, and our length is 18. So is 12 plus 12 plus 18 plus 18. What does that equal? Well 12 plus 12 is 24 and 18 plus 18 is 36 and you add those together you should get that the perimeter is 60. So it checks. And now before we do the story problem that involves consecutive integers I want to just do a quick lesson on what does it mean for integers to be consecutive. Well, simple, 2 and 3 are consecutive integers, they're right in the row. And 4 and 7 are not consecutive, they have numbers in between. So pretty easy what consecutive means. But let's say we don't know what our integers are. 
Let's say our first consecutive integer is n. How do we figure out what the second integer is if it's consecutive? Well, it's only one away. So you should have n and then n plus 1 because that's 1 away from n. And then the third would be n plus 2, n plus 3. So let's say our n is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 plus 3 is 7. So this is an algebraic way of writing consecutive integers. But now, what if they are consecutive even integers? So let's say we have an integer of n. How do we get to the next even integer? You have to skip one. So instead of n plus 1, it would be n plus 2. Skip another one. n plus 4. n plus 6. So in this case, let's say that n is 8. And then 8 plus 2 is 10. 8 plus 4 is 12. 8 plus 6 is 14. These are not consecutive integers, but they're consecutive even integers. So they're going in order with their even integers. And now consecutive odd integers are actually the exact same as even integers because you're always skipping one. So if you have n, n plus 2, if n is odd, n plus 2 will get you the next odd integer. For example, if you have 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. And if you had n plus 4, 5 plus 4 is 9. So these are consecutive odd integers. So this story problem says, the sum of four consecutive odd integers is 120. So the sum, that means adding, we're looking at four different numbers and their consecutive odd is 120. We want to find those four integers. So my first integer is n. And I'm going to add my next one and it's odd integers, so we have to skip one away from n, so it's n plus 2 is my next odd integer. And then n plus 4, so 1, 2, 3, another one, n plus 6. When you add those all up, we're saying that it equals 120. So we want to figure out what four numbers that are consecutive odd integers, when you add them, gives you one. 20. So I wrote parentheses in just to keep things separated, but you actually do not need them. We can combine like terms. How many n's do you have? We have 4n plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 is 12. So 4n plus 12 equals 120. We can solve for n by subtracting 12 on both sides. 120 minus 12 is 108. And now divide both sides by 4. And you should get that n equals 27. And that is not your final answer. That is just our first integer of the four consecutive. So if this one is 27, our next one is 27 plus 2, which is 29. And then it would be 27 plus 4, which is 31. And 27 plus 6, whoops, I meant to write 31. And then 27 plus 6 is 33. So these are consecutive odd integers, and you can always check your answer. I want you to add them all up and see if you get 120. And when you add them all up, it does, in fact, equal 120, so your answer checks. So there are two types of story problems. We have perimeter and we have consecutive integers. Good luck with this lesson, and let me know if you have any questions.